uh, that's why we are here, and so we are trying to share every culture. Uh, uh, about me, my name is Sanjay Gimire uh, from Des Moines, Iowa. I'm a software engineer and works for Wells Fargo Bank, and also the president of Iowa Industry Association. And uh, I published a couple of apps in the uh, iOS uh, Apple app, Apple uh, App Store, and uh, uh, Google Play and uh, Microsoft stores. Uh, these are the apps. Uh, if you see the icons on the side, that means they are on the other platform as well. Otherwise, they are all on the uh, apples. Uh, the, these alphabets are especially for the kids. They can uh, learn Nepali language alphabets on those applications. Uh, most of them are free, and one or two are the dollar applications. So there are a couple unpublished apps I do have, and uh, where are you? That's a kind of GPS locator type of app, so that if, you're, if you ask your kids where are you, or your kids ask where are you, you can share your location, and they're, they're, they don't have to ask. They can look at their phone, and they can look at their phone and say, oh, my dad is here, or my credit card here, or something like that. Um, Square Root, then another, another game I'm thinking, still thinking in a half way, and spell B for the kids game, just spell it finding the right spelling for the right uh, graphics. Uh, I call it, that's a kind of hobby, uh, kind of app. Um, so, and uh, guess what? That's also in the kind of a, uh, what you are, uh, the, the game will give you some kind of uh, hints and you have to find the words for that one. And the jab is another card game I'm thinking is still in my mind. Is it kind of a puzzle? Huh? Guess what? Is it kind of a puzzle? Um, so the, it's randomized the letters on the top, and then you have to make make the uh, words, correct words, and it will give you a number of hints, and then based on the number of hints you choose, and you get the score. Okay. Some kind of that. It's not double. It's a halfway. I mean, somebody started, literally started. So, what is the mobile game? Actually, the mobile game is. The video game actually what you play on the mobile devices, the handheld devices, the portable devices, uh, like uh, picture phones, smartphones, PDA, uh, tablet computers, uh, portable media player or calculator, even the calculator that you may have is some kind of games, number types of games, including some dedicated handheld video systems such as Nintendo 3DS, PlayStation, Vita, and Me, uh, me and many more. So, so what what types of game actually in the market or in the world? The action games, ball and paddles, ping ball, shooters, those are the action games. And there are many, many, many hundreds and hundreds. So I cannot give all the names, but uh, action adventure, so I you know, like the the gun and shooting and fighting types of games most of the kids play these days. Um, adventure, real three uh, time three D adventure game. Role playing, cards, poker, chase, turn by turn, play game, simulator, the construction simulator, like the, uh, I, didn't, I didn't remember the name top of my head, but the mobile game, you can drag a couple things, land and the roads and something like that. That kind of uh, simulation and the flight simulation, car simulation, train simulation, uh, strategy, chase, chase checkers. Uh, sports, FIFA, and some other sport types of uh, NBA game or all those, and other puzzle education or any time, any any game, anything you can make a game. Uh, game platform, arcade game. The arcade game is normally in the somewhere in the mall and casino, all those things. You can see the pictures and kind of type of game. Um, console game, Xbox, PS3, Wii. Uh, handheld games, you can see the pictures, so many handheld games from the ancient time, very uh, like 10 15 years ago. Um, those type of games, uh, multiplayer online games, uh, mobile, mobile games, online games like the snoopers and pokers, even also the online game, and the PC games. These are all, all the pictures on the games normally. In the beginning, it's designed in the PC to play in the computer, but later the mobile platform is so popular and these are turned to the um, uh, different console and different uh, mobile game. Uh, interfaces, audio game, especially if you play, especially designed for the blind people, they can play. 
uh, browser game which you play in the internet browser text-based game it's a very old type of game so you can type the keywords and you read the uh, information on the game and you play against the game and uh, finish the game uh, tile-based game uh, you see the 2048 maybe you have already played this game um, and then sliding sli slide side scoring video games which is like an angry bird type of game so when you play this game it's most uh, uh, for more information, I just grab, look at the Wikipedia and grab all the information for this kind of information. And the dimensions. The dimensions that you play the games are two different dimensions. 2D and 3D. 2D is basically the things you look at the game in your mobile device. The objects, the actors, the, the gun, the, uh, the enemy, uh, whatever it is, they are uh, 2D. Look like it's a 3D. You can see in the uh, when you see the mobile, you look like feel like it's a 3 d type of game uh, objects, but it's not really. Uh, and those are the 2 d objects, which uh, the actor object, which has uh, two sides, length and width, uh, and a position in the x position and y position. It's a little bit mathematic term, so it is a position in the x and y on your screen. Another one is a 3D and. Uh, <coughs> 3D is, a, is a, another dimension of the same object, which is like the, um, you can see the pictures, there are several 3D objects, and the 3D object has a width, height, and length. So, and it, uh, it's positioned on the x-axis, um, y, and g-axis on the reference of the your screen. And you console, the, maybe we can turn the, your, uh, and the game console where you can actually play the game. Okay, so probably you already know the Sony PlayStation and the Microsoft Xbox, uh, Nintendo, uh, mobile telephone tablet, whatever it's Apple or Android, uh, Windows and uh, Amazon Fire, any mobile platform tablets, handle game, the PS Vita, Nintendo uh, 3DS, 3DS, several versions, and Wii. Wii U. In the computer, you can play the flash game and the uh, screen on the computer. So, computer inputs. So, game inputs. Anybody, anybody give me an idea of what kind of inputs for the game? If you play in the mobile game, what are the inputs? Screen touch. This is screen. Most of the time, tap and touch, right? So, in a computer, it is a mouse, keyboard. So, the PlayStation, you have a computer controller. Uh, like a handle controller and a camera. Uh, same way the Xbox controller, remotes, camera, which is Kinect. Uh, Nintendo, Wii Remote. Uh, mobile uh, phone and tablet, touch, uh, tap, and accelerometer, which is the how we tilt, how the how much the phone you tilt actually on the top side, on the left, left side, or the right, or the left. All of the you can get those inputs from the mobile itself, and you can you can use that number or value and it can uh, uh, manipulate your objects. Uh, same way, the handle on game console and mobile uh, phone tablet is not much different, uh, but they do have uh, some additional uh, keys and joysticks, the four-way key like the Xbox has the four-way keys and the, another additional two key left, right and, uh, and the joysticks. And computer, mouse, touch, uh, if the touch, uh, touch enable screen you have, you can touch, otherwise mouse and keyboard. So these are the uh, inputs. Uh, you can see those uh, colors uh, here, these types of inputs. This is a Wii, uh, this is the, uh, this may be a Xbox or something like that. So uh, game engine. So to make a game, you need to rely on the game engine what type of game you are making, what type of engine you need, uh, need to require. So, a game engine. So, there are several game engines designed for, uh, for different people. Different people. So, one, maybe a programmer, strong programmer. They can go and write the code. And another one is a non-programmer. So basically, I don't know about any programming, but I do have some kind of mathematics, uh, uh, analogy, mathematics, logics, algorithm I can use. I am good at the mathematics. 
Definitely I can do it. Because the game is a definitely a catalyst. And a programmer, you go Apple, you have a different. You go Android, you have a different. Uh, Windows, different. Linux, different. So on the other side, non-programmer, which is a new uh, web platform, which is a HTML5, um, you can do without doing any coding. So on the Apple, there are, I think, uh, many hundreds of different uh, game engine and platform you can find for the Apple. But I just pulled the three of those. Uh, Coco DS, Coco DS 2D, and Spur, and uh, uh, Berk 3D. Same way the Android, Android, uh, and Engine, uh, Android Box 2D. Same way Windows, C++, and DirectX, Sharp DX, and XNA, and HTML4. On the other hand, no coding, there is a tool available on the market. Uh, most of the tools are non-coding as free. You can download and you start doing your uh, double, okay? So Game Salad, one of the most uh, easy and popular nowadays, and Construct 2. Um, I didn't see that one in that one. Okay. Uh, Stencil, and Live Code, and uh, another one is uh, Unity 2D. Those are the, uh, this is the line we are basically focusing today uh, to make a uh, small game. Is this the HTML5 is the latest one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So beside the game, there are several different mobile apps. Like the, I just highlighted there, mobile hybrid app, mobile app, and mobile native app. So this is a mobile native app. So you go, if you need a app, you are built on the mobile, uh, for Apple, you have to download an Apple X code. Uh, you need an de Apple device. You, everything is in, in one plan. So that is called that. Uh, if you design your application, any kind of application, which is a really web app, web, web, web page, but when you, when you look at it into the mobile, it looks like a mobile app. You don't figure out whether it is, a, it is built on the real native app, uh, device or native code, or it's built in the web. And then another is the mobile uh, hybrid app, which is a hybrid, sorry, hi, not a hybrid. Hybrid app, uh, which is a, a mobile app, the extended version of the mobile app, which can access your low-level um, hardware like camera, GPS, all those things. Uh, the application can access those things. That is a hybrid. The only uh, difference is the native is if you build the application on the native, like the Apple. If you want to make the uh, Android, you want to make the um, Windows, you have to read it. All read it. But if you build a web app, if you build a hybrid, write one place and deploy in multiple platforms. Put it into the Apple, put it into the Android, same code, same logics, but only you need, what you need to do, you need to compile in a different box. If you need to compile here, you need to compile here, you need to compile here, and then you can publish into the uh, app store. So one place, uh, if you want to do the, the development in one place and do put it into the several platforms, you need to use the mobile app or mobile hybrid. Which is most famous? Uh, these days are hybrid. hybrid. So then, then it's a must, uh, most faster, uh, easy to learn, uh, and uh, best practice. Uh, uh, easy to implement. Yeah, easy to implement. Um, and then uh, immediately you can uh, publish in the three different uh, or four different platforms. Yeah. Yes. So mobile hybrid. So you, for that one, you need to use the mobile. Like the, I don't know, you heard of the phone gap type things. Phone gap is a mobile hybrid platform. So basically, it, um, uh, you develop your code. You, you write your code, uh, HTML and JavaScript, which is a standard every browser, every uh, web platform. And but the phone gap gives you the access to the reach out to the your hardware and get that uh, you know, hardware specific. Uh, uh, resources like camera, like uh, GPS, like the SUR meter, all those things, which is the native hardware is doing. Okay. So the required tool. So to make a game, especially the what the minimum thing you actually need: uh, audio, 
So to make the audio, to record your audio, to create your audio, you can use the Gold app. It's a free app as a um, uh, developer. And the website, you can go to the website and you can uh, generate the sound effects you want for the, your game. So you can actually use the phone or? No, on the computer. computer. On the computer. Create the sound effects. Yeah, no. That will give you like the uh, fire, like the jump, like the explode, those kind of things. And you can come to your ISO letter. Uh, you can configure those sounds, whether it is a, a perfectly matched to your uh, game or not. So you said there's a free app? This is a website. This is a website. What? So from that website, you can download. Yeah, and then one, once you generate your sound, you can export the sound and you put it in locally. Okay. Okay, required tool. Another one is on the game. You can see the uh, the actor is running. That is actually of one single graphics that is making the, your uh, movement, like the uh, moving the leg up and uh, uh, up and down, up front and back, and uh, moving in the hand up and down. So that's an animator. So if you need an animation on your game, you need a, definitely need a kind of tool that generates the animation. Another one is the graphics. The most of the games is a graphics. All is graphics. So if your graphics is good and nicer, then it looks nicer. Otherwise, uh, it's a bit different. So for the graphics, is an in ink skip the for the scalable vector graphics. Uh, Photoshop, JPG, PNG, and Jim is also JPG, PNG. Blender is a 3D graphics. Okay, let's look at and examine and see here what we can find. Okay. Do you everybody remember this game or anybody has any idea what is this game? Are you? Flappy Bird. Flappy So what, what thing we can see here? Anybody identify what you see here? What, what, what we can see here? Anything we can identify what are there? No? It's a, it's a, it's a one graphic or it looks like the one graphic, right? But here is a bar. Okay? Here is the, these pillars. And then the back is a background. Sky and the uh, landscape, the uh, buildings. Okay? Same way, the other game is the? Only the can, uh, the candies, right? The candy is on the, uh, uh, in the row and call. Some were like this, some were this like, and the variety of candies. Another one is the, the bike with the bike on the man on the back is uh, just uh, jumping and uh, reach to the target. Another one is the angry bird. There is a bird. There is uh, the green thingy. I don't know what is that one. The piggy. And then the wood block and uh, ice block and some metal blocks. Okay. So these are the, these kind of things that we can identify on the game. So any game you look at, you can uh, real, uh, Easily identify, okay, this is one object, this is another object, this is another thing, this is another thing. So, so these are the, so far I, what I explained is the what actually in a game. Now I'm going to the, that is a visual purpose, now is a development purpose. Okay, how we, when you start to develop, you need to understand what they are. Okay, every game call, contains seeds. The scenes is basically a menu, 
Uh, when you start a game, you can say the, the play or select the uh, level, um, options, all the menu things. That is also a scene. That is also a part of the game. And one scene contains many layers. Layers are of uh, transparent seats. Layers are transparent seats. So the say the um, uh, thin layer, which is transparent like a plastics. So you stack like this, the several ten layers. You can see all the objects, whatever wherever they are, right? So the layer one, you put the bullets. Layer two, you put the uh, enemy. Layer three, but when you put them together, all layers. But even you can see the bullet, you can see the enemy, you can see the you or whatever you are, right? So, so you can create many layers. The difference is if you put the, uh, the your objects, uh, enemy or the plane or anything, um, tank, whatever, bullet. If the layer, the objects, those objects are in the same layer, they can collide. You know, if they are in a different layer, they can just overlap, so that you can make your effect. Okay. Another one is that in the game language, um, it's called actors or sprites. The actors, anything is actors. Anything, whatever you see in the uh, game, it is actor. Let's uh, go back the and uh, review the screens. I saw the like flappy bird. The bird is actor, and the pillars on the top and down, that is also actor. It's an R. It's the same thing. Only people uh, use the word actor or sprites in different way. It's the same thing. And the background, the screen, the buildings, that is also actor. You can see the background is moving. So that is an actor. So the actor has uh, attributes. So the actor has a sight. How big this one? Actor has a colors. Actor has a transparency. Um, An actor has an image. An actor has a physics, how the actor can move, how the can actor fall, how big the um, how uh, density of that actor is a heavier or lighter. Like the, you need to use the tennis ball, you need to make the um, actor lighter. Um, if you want to make a, uh, the boulder like the stone, big stone, you need to make that actor heavier so that it will fall quickly. If you make the make that the actor uh, light, it will fall slowly. In the same way, the bounciness, size, color, and position, and then every actor has a behaviors. It can behave something. It doesn't. It cannot behave automatically, but you have to make them behave as you want. So the behaviors fall, like and move, go away somewhere, left, right, top, bottom. Resize makes bigger, smaller, destroy, and then uh, spawn is the create the another another actor immediately some one uh, position. So something is moving, and suddenly something is appeared that is spawning in that point because you touch the something or you behave you uh, give us some command to the your handle your mobile. So it create another object so that you can interact, and many more effects. Audio, every game has an audio. Graphics and audio are the two main components on the mobile game to make your game interesting. No audio, no audio sound, you didn't see the game as interesting. No good graphics, you don't see the, this game has a uh, good visual. So the audio sound, like the bullet fire, collide, attack, level up, many things. And music, background music, you can put the sound. And a video for the startup. When you start, you can put it. And the rules. The rule is the heart of the game. So, use to apply the new attributes, perform a new behavior, and to maneuver the actors. Play, pause, music, uh, sound, and display the text. All are controlled by your rule. Okay? That's all. That's all. Uh, so, any question and comments. Is it can be in real? Huh? Is this slide can be in real? Uh, this slide, you see the URL, you can note it. 
Um, there is a demo PDF, a slide you can download the PDF. And I'm going to do a 15, 20 minute demo. If you want to see, I'll do it. Um, we have to go actually. Thank you for the information. And also, if you, the game salad, the game uh, tool I'm going to use, uh, the name already, and uh, uh, another, um, another download also there. I need to put it there. A demo, and uh, let me check what the demo. So the first apps you saw us about the Ripley Alphabet. Did you create them? Yeah. Yeah, if you go and look at the Apple App Store and search by iNepali, right. you can see about 12 different apps. Okay. And, and most of the right. starting point I uh, did the, from the Alpha of Nepal. You also have the visiting card. Yeah. 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 You will be here. Thanks, thanks for that information. We have a question. Yeah, just one question. What does it take to publish the app in the App Store? Yeah, that's the. Uh, this is the. Form from App Store. Yeah, you need to you need to uh, uh, sign up the developer uh, license. Okay, then it's a very, very simple process to go and register yourself as an individual developer, and then pay the ninety nine dollar for a year. That's an idea. So that helps you to, whenever you build your app on your uh, uh, Xcode, you can uh, you can uh, run in the simulator. You can test, but not the, all the simulators are perfect as a device. So you want to test a device. So that ninety nine dollar uh, enable you to get the license from the uh, Apple App Store, put it in your local message, and then help to build, deploy on your. Uh, a mobile device. Okay, so I think they actually uh, they have to approve it or take no. their application first, right? Yeah, that's a different part. That's the second part. Okay. First part, once you start your building, you you only able to run your simulator okay. on, until you don't have a uh, the certification. So that means it's not published in App Store yet. No, Something no. Like once you pay ninety nine dollar and be a authorized uh, like a licensed developer for the Apple, mm -hmm. and you can go and create your app on there. And you can download the certificates mm -hmm. on your local machine, and you can build and deploy your local device. Once you you tested everything, your local device, you feel it comfortable. Okay. okay, this is working. This, this that's what I want. Um, and then there is a certain process to push into the. Absolutely. So that is totally separate process. Yeah, it's it's not hard. It's not hard, but it's a different so process. Like Once you put it into the app store, mm -hmm. it will stay around seven to ten days. It will take. From my, from my experience, is I most of my apps are approved in ten days. Okay. Um, uh, some people are saying it takes thirty days, forty days. But in my case, it's maximum seven to ten days. That is the one time. That's the one time. And after that, once you you build everything, you tested everything in your local devices, uh, and you feel comfortable, like you made uh, iPhone five, iPhone four, iPhone uh, three, uh, iPad. Yeah. yeah. And once you push in the App Store, you go to the first. Uh, you need to create. You need to create an app first in your in, in your account. I can show you if you want. So like, how does it then? How does it generate revenue for you? Like, it's like Apple pay you for that. Yeah, you can think that two ways. Um, one is. Like for example, today I download your app on my App Store, mm -hmm. on my iPhone. How does it benefit you basically? Two ways. Um, one, you can uh, while building your app, you can go and find uh, uh, some uh, ad provider. You can see your ads. You can see any game has ads, like ads, and, yes. and some, some kind of big screen apps, and you can close and play or whatever you do. Right. Those are the ads in your mobile app. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And you have to go and find. Apple has also iApp. You can push the app from the Apple itself. Oh, okay. you, you don't go anywhere. You can mm -hmm. use the uh, Apple app and uh, put it in your 
your app, your application. Okay. And number of the uh, hits, number of people download, number of the uh, people use it is depend. Okay. And the price is also depend. What kind of ad is getting in your devices? Some ads are uh, twenty five dollar per thousand. Some ads are dollar per thousand. So if you get a higher paying ad, you get more. Okay. Uh, if you get the lower paying ad, you get less. Okay? So that is the that is the one way is uh, monetizing your. Ad. So another another ad is the putting the price on the app store like one dollar, two dollar. So if somebody downloads, that directly comes to you. Uh, no, no. 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 Uh, say the uh, app price is ninety nine percent. So you download it. Right. So you get the seventy percent, and right. Apple will keep the thirty percent. So out of seven, uh, 99 cents, you get a, somewhere 71 or something. So they will do in every month. Okay. So number of uh, apps downloaded, let's say for you, do, you have an app and you download thousands mm -hmm. a month, and 70% uh, seven, is 700 or somewhere. Mm -hmm. So they will send you a check or they will send you a uh, bank transfer. So already deposited the So it's straightforward. It's not uh, too much uh, complicated. Because I've been working on Android development. Oh, Android and is different. I want to start with Apple. So and Android is different. Android, Android um, is a $25 dollar one time uh, membership fee and something like one time. And uh, the same process, you need to get the license, uh, the certificates for the app. Right. And you apply against that certificate and you call it into the uh, Apple Store. And that is uh, Apple is a quicker, uh, sorry, app, um, uh, Android Play is a uh, faster. Uh, for the policy, they probably in a couple hours the app will like nobody will uh, review it, look at it. The Apple will check everything, they will yeah, test your because, app. Uh, I actually uh, help, help my friend in building this Apple application. Yeah, they will, they will test in a real device, download and run, and they will if they find some screen not perfectly aligned or some screen is off, some screen not appear correctly, and they will reject. But uh, Android, uh, nobody is looking against you. So whatever you put it, is there working, not working, nobody cares. That's why I have to start with Apple. Yeah. I was working for Android, but yeah, Apple yeah. seems more interesting. <laughs> yeah, Apple is interesting. And, uh, lots of people you start from Apple, and then slowly. I started from the Apple, and then I built uh, some Android and Windows. Uh, so. That's good. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.